Hello, welcome to the Spreadsheet Skills for Beginners tutorials. Now, in the next few tutorials, we're going to learn some basic spreadsheet skills. Formatting, which is changing the way a spreadsheet looks. We're going to learn how to write functions for averages and totals. And we're also going to learn how to filter our spreadsheet so that we can search for particular classes, particular teachers, or particular um, students, if you will. This first tutorial is going to deal with formatting. So we're going to change the way this spreadsheet looks. The first thing we're going to do is sometimes if you start typing in a cell and you put too much text in, it runs out of the edge of the cell and into the next one. We're going to stop it doing that and we're going to stop it doing that for the whole spreadsheet. This is good practice to do at the very start when you're setting something up. So I'm going to left click, top left hand corner here, to select everything. I'm then going to right click and choose the format cells menu. We'll be using this rather a lot, so um, it's useful to know where it is. Select Format Cells menu and you get these options. You can change lots of different things, um, the fill colour, the borders, fonts and alignment. We're going to be changing alignment. Um, I'm going to tick the wrap text box and what that will do is it will stop the text going out of the edge of the cell and it will put it on a new line. The other thing I'm going to do with my font is change the size to let's say 14 um, and back to alignment I'm going to vertically align my text in the middle of the cell click OK now you can see that because it's wrapped text um, it's actually got to the end of the cell and bumped onto a new line so what I'm going to do is make these columns wider by positioning my cursor between the edges of the column so you get this icon clicking and dragging. That then starts to widen out those cells. And now the next piece of formatting I'm going to do is because it's quite difficult to see the difference, see where one column or one row starts and finishes. So I'm going to highlight the cells I'm using this time, not the whole spreadsheet. Right click and go to format cells again. And this time I'm going to choose border. I'd like quite a thick line as my outline and I'd like quite a thin line as my inside. Click OK. And that just makes it a bit easier to read. Now in terms of formatting, that's pretty much everything apart from I'm just going to highlight my header rows. And here in Home, I'm going to drop down the paint bucket to choose fill colour and choose an appropriate colour just to make my header row stand out. So there we go. That's how to format a basic spreadsheet. Have a go.